हेलो दिस इज महिमा सिंह एंड यू आर वॉचिंग विलेज की छोरी Indian Railways has commissioned the country's first governmental waste to energy plant having the capacity of 500 kg waste per day in Mancheshwar carriage repair workshop at Bhubaneswar in East Coast Railway. Member of Rolling Stock Rajesh Agarwal inaugurated this plant on 22nd of January 2020 along with General Manager of East Coast Railway. So here's all you need to know. This waste to energy plant has been constructed in 3 months. This waste to energy plant a patent technology called Polycrack is first of its kind in Indian railways and fourth in India. It is the world's first patent heterogeneous catalytic process that converts multiple feed stocks into hydrocarbon liquid fuels, gas, carbon and water. Polycrack plant can be fed with all types of plastic, petroleum sludge, unsegregated municipal solid waste, e-waste, automobile fluff, organic waste including bamboo and garden waste etc. Waste generated from Mancheshwar Carriage Repair Workshop, Coaching Depot, and Bhubaneswar Railway Station will be feeder material for this plant. Polycrack has the following advantage over the conventional approach of treating solid waste. Pre-segregation of waste is not required to reform the waste. Waste as collected can be directly fed into polycrack. It has a high tolerance to moisture, hence drying of waste is not required. Waste is processed and reformed within 24 hours. It is an enclosed unit hence the working environment is dust free. Excellent air quality surrounding the plant. Biological decomposition is not allowed as the waste is treated as it is received. The footprint of the plant is small hence the area required for installing the plant is less when compared with the conventional method of processing. All constituents are converted into valuable energy thereby making it zero discharge process. The gas generated in the process is reused to provide energy to the system thereby making it self reliant and also bring down the operating cost. There is no atmospheric emission during the process unlike other conventional method except from combustion gases which have pollutants less than the prescribed norms in the world. It operates around 450 degrees making it a low temperature process when compared with the other options. The safe and efficient system with built-in safety feature enables even an unskilled user to operate the machine with ease. Low capital cost and low operating cost. The fully automated system requires minimum manpower. If you like the video do share for more such videos keep watching my nation.